Ni hao! I am in Beijing, China, in the Forbidden City. I'm really here. This place is so incredibly big and huge. It's vast, it's enormous, it's amazing. The sun's about to kill that shot, but you gotta just see what's behind me. This place is utterly amazing. Keep watching, stick around. Thank you for watching. See us here. <laughs> Hanging out today in Beijing, China. I'm in the Forbidden City. Pretty neat here, I gotta, tell you, gotta say. A lot of what I read in the guidebooks doesn't quite match up to reality. All the horror stories I read so far haven't come true. First thing I read is that there's a line out the door about, a, about an hour long to get in. It took me three minutes, but I came in through the east gate, bought my ticket, three minutes later I was inside. The Tiananmen Square main gate is the one that everyone has the horror story, so maybe that really is true, I don't know. But if you come through the east gate and probably also the west gate, Three minutes, man, I don't know. Um, the other things people say things are really expensive here. I bought this pear juice, which uh, tastes like pear juice with a lot of sugar. They called it pear tea, but I don't think that's what it is. Uh, 80 cents US dollar equivalent, 60 uh, RMB. Dirt cheap, no complaints, tastes pretty good. Um, the actual entry fee is only $9 US equivalent. Uh, so, so far everything's pretty easy going. Also heard horror stories about the toilets. So far that hasn't come true either. They're just normal public toilets, as dirty as normal public toilets get. But you have private stalls and everything normal, Western style, and also squatting toilets, both. But um, there's stalls, there's private stalls. If you look online, you'll see people giving horror stories about how you're all kind of using the facilities in one big open room, not within the Forbidden City. Maybe that's other places in Beijing yet to be seen. But anyway, stick around and enjoy this tour of the Forbidden City. Alright, so I'm going to debunk a couple more myths, or at least I'm going to call it that because the truth of the matter is it's my first time here, so I don't even know. But people say this place is huge and it takes all day to get around it. And you know what? It is absolutely entirely true that it's huge, but it doesn't at all take all day to get around it. In fact, I've walked the whole, the whole uh, lengthwise of Forbidden City in about half an hour just now, my first time here. And it's about one kilometer long, which is pretty long, but that's two thirds of a mile. It's just, it doesn't take that long to get across it, even with all these incredible sights. So I don't know if you really need a whole day here, like people are saying, maybe if you're really into the history and you spend a lot of time, but honestly, it's really beautiful. It's incredible. But I think if I spent the whole day here, I'd lose a little bit of interest because it's a little bit redundant to see this for hours and hours on end. It's amazing for now. I don't think you need a whole day. That's my opinion. Could not, not all fact, just my opinion. However, there's a lot of cool stuff to see and it just seems to be never ending artifacts like this thingy. Ah! <laughs> um, the other one is that the subways here are a madhouse during rush hour. I got here at 8.30 in the morning, which is dead center day rush hour, and took the public transit. Never been here before, pretty easy to navigate, wasn't really that big of a deal. Yes, there was a lot of people, but compared to New York City subways, it ain't nothing. So maybe if you've never experienced New York City on a rush hour, this is a big deal, but honestly, it wasn't that big of a deal. <laughs> so by all means, take the subway, even if you got to come here during rush hour, I don't really think it was such a big deal. By the way, these incredible doors are everywhere. Look at these details. They're gigantic with these um, faces in there engraved. It's really, really amazing. Got to watch your step wherever you go, though. Pretty neat. And it is kind of a labyrinth. Like, everywhere you go, you really can't tell where to go next or where you came from. But it's a lot of fun to wander around. Um, it's about one kilometer lengthwise, and it's about half a half a mile, which is like two thirds of a kilometer widthwise. So it's really big for a single facility, which is what this was serving the royal kingdom hundreds of years ago. But it isn't really that big to walk across it um, in maybe an hour. Uh, I think most people could do that. So. Anyway, stick along for the ride. You're going to see more of the Forbidden City, Beijing, China. All right, I take back what I said about it being easy to get in here. Apparently, when you take the East Gate like I did, it's no big deal. 
These are all the people coming in through the main Tiananmen Square for, uh, South Gate, and it's a madhouse of people. So I feel sorry for anyone who waited out of that line. It, judging by the flow of people, it probably was about an hour of a line there. So take the east to west gates. It's not a myth. These wooden doors with the golden, uh, I don't know if that's color or that's gilding or what that is, but the golden stuff on the bottom are absolutely beautiful. They are all over the Forbidden City here, and they really make it special. And then what, the other thing that's really neat is you just turn around, and there's just these buildings in all directions that look like that. It's on all sides of you, wherever you look, and it's really an amazing experience. You feel kind of like you're living here, and what, or at least what you can imagine what it was like to live here, with the small exception that there's so many tourists everywhere, so that takes away the experience a little. But otherwise, it is pretty cool. Hello. <laughs> I would think in China they'd be used to people talking into a camera, but uh, you know, so be it. Everyone's staring at me. It's cool. Ain't no thing but a chicken wing. This is a madhouse to take a picture here. What's incredible about the Forbidden City is that you suddenly walk away from all those incredible crowds and you end up in things like this, places like this, spots like this. I'm the only one here. There is nobody here. It's just like it was hundreds of years ago. I'm all alone. And as soon as I said that, some tourists came in, but, <laughs> behind me, but in any case, I was alone for a few minutes there in the Forbidden City, and it's quite magical. I gotta say, that's the word for it. When you just stand in these courtyards, these ancient courtyards, and you're the only one here, it's an incredible experience. This is one of the more interesting rooms here. I haven't seen, expected to see anything like this. Very modern looking. It's like a room they dedicated to be a museum for calligraphy, for obviously kanji, Asian calligraphy. Very, very beautiful, but it's super modern until you look up at the rafters up there and then you see the really old architecture that they made all the buildings in the Forbidden City out of. It's just kind of an interesting contrast in that regard. It's like ultra modern styling in a three or four hundred year old plus building, yeah, depending on which dynasty the, the building actually comes from. But everything here is at least 300 years old. That's made out of solid jade. It's humongous. It's enormous. It's beautiful. It's in the gift shop here in the amazing, amazing Forbidden City. Come here, buy this expensive thing. It's beautiful. Just realized after staring at it a little more, Kind of looks like a giant piece of lettuce. <laughs> it's pretty cool though. <laughs> you know you're in a classy joint when they hold the door open by tying up a necktie to keep it open. That's a cool place. Anyway, had a great time here in the Forbidden City, Beijing, China. Hope you enjoyed the ride. I don't think this vlog was as long as my usual, but you know, whatever, it is what it is. It's a lot of fun. So, hope you enjoyed. Just keep watching. Yo, 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 yo.